is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about drones yet again, but we're going to be talking about it in a different manner. And what I mean by that is T-Mobile recently put out an article talking about their 5G connectivity and really talking about how drones are right on the cusp of becoming a great success. Now, they did a huge article. It talks about all kinds of things and really the vision at which they see it. Now, some things to keep in mind, T-Mobile is partnered with Valkyrie. Valkyrie is partnered with Ag Eagle. So those are some things to keep in mind as we dive deep into this article. So if you're interested in drones, you're interested in T-Mobile, and you're interested in speculation, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we dive into this heavily loaded article on a ton of information, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. Let's go! I'm telling you guys, drones are definitely going to be the future. You guys know that I've been doing a ton of videos on up and coming companies that are involved with the drone sector. You know, everything from package delivery to pharmaceutical delivery to whatever it may be revolving around drones i'm super pumped about this sector i truly truly am but now we're going to take it even a step further we're going to start talking about networks and really t-mobile is taking pride in that 5g network that is going to supply some connectivity some networking to the likes of drones we're going to dive right into this thing and there truly is a lot of information from this article that you can really start to implement into all kinds of different drone companies. So here we go, swinging on over here. When T-Mobile announced the launch of its first nationwide standalone 5G network in August, it's celebrated with a light show in the skies over Libsyn, North Dakota. The display, provided not by rockets, but tightly choreographed swarm of drones. I mean right there, kicking it off with the drone talk, let's go. That is the company selected a drone showcase was no coincidence. Drones are evolving from hobbyist devices into full featured autonomous robotics platforms with business applications ranging from manufacturing to warehousing to logistics and beyond. But the future of these devices demands ultra reliable connectivity, a huge pipeline for media streaming and enormous numbers of stable concurrent connections robust enough to support real time data processing and AI applications. And I do have to truly agree with that because the more and more that you're going to have drones flying, network is going to have to be on point. The connectivity is going to have to be on point because you are going to start to have a ton of drones flying, doing whatever they may need to be doing, delivering packages, surveillance, surveying, I mean, doing all kinds of things. So you're going to have those in flight and they're going to have to be connected to a really reliable network. So hopefully T-Mobile can pull through on that. Current commercial drone technology is dependent on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections, and most drones are very limited in range. They're only able to operate within the visual line of sight of human operators and the small amount of data they are able to exchange with devices on the ground limits. Their potential to act autonomously, military and scientific drones in critical applications, on the other hand, have relied on expensive dedicated satellite connections for several years. Mobile connectivity has promised the widespread reliable connectivity solutions that will enable a broad universe of commercial drone applications and 5G is poised to deliver. Obviously, we understand that, you know, they are working towards beyond the visual line of sight, which is the term used BVLOS. We understand that because we talked about it numerous times with the Beyond program. Obviously, NASA has been working on some things as well. So it's very important to understand that those things are in the works and they are coming. No question. So continuing on, for drone robotic services to become unique and ambiguous, we'll need highly reliable and responsive 5G networks managing all that traffic, says John Saw, T-Mobile Executive Vice President of Advanced and Emerging Technologies. Whether it's a new pair of jeans going to a teen in the suburbs of Dallas or medical supplies going to the doctor in rural America, maintaining a constant and reliable 5G connection from the warehouse to the customer will be key. And I think that's very kind of important, but it's also kind of crazy to think that he is hitting on package delivery immediately um and i think that that's going to be very important too and the reason why i think that's you know the connection is there is because like i said 
They do have a partnership with the likes of Valkyrie, who obviously we know the receptacle is going to be massive. Um, and the 5G network has been put into the Valkyrie box. So it's kind of unique that they immediately come out the gate with the package delivery, talking about genes and, you know, even talking about pharmaceuticals for a doctor. Now we're going to dive right into how 5G will enable the drone sector and how it's going to really boost it. So swinging on over here, 5G networks will eventually provide low latency. The time it takes for transmitter to send packet of information to a receiver for physical devices like robots, drones, and autonomous vehicle, low latency is essential to enabling fast enough response times to avoid one collisions with people or objects. And then it says, you know, obviously to maintain it in their environment. It's a critical issue that links the widespread commercialization of drone technology inextricably with expansion of the next generation networks. As elements of the fully built out internet of things, drones and other autonomous devices depend upon 5G services types beyond straightforward enhanced mobile broadband. In particular, ultra reliable low latency communications, which ensure consistent fast communication speeds and response times necessary for critical applications. So what they're doing is they're really breaking down and explaining to you the, you know, some major, major important details when you're talking about the communications between basically the drone and what is going to be said network or 5G. So you got EMBB, which is going to be enhanced mobile broadband, and then you got URLLC, which is ultra reliable, low latency communication. So as you can see, those are two major factors when you're talking about 5G having an impact with drones. Coordinating a swarm of drones in flight dependently upon enough to be used in critical real world applications like firefighting, search and rescue, or emergency medical delivery will require that devices are able to com communicate with ground controllers and one another at speeds well beyond what current 4G LTE networks can achieve. Even everyday tasks like package or food delivery demands high ultra speed communications that enable autonomous devices to av avoid accidents. And I think yet again, this is completely different, but once again, we're hitting on safety. And that's always been a real important detail that has been pushed by the FAA, that has been pushed by every company that is now entering into the drone sector. They really understand the importance of safety. I mean, you're talking about a whole new thing that you're imp you know, implementing into the world. You're talking about an object now that is going to be flying autonomous, that is going to be delivering a package or whatever it may be delivering, but it's going to be doing it autonomously. The hopes is that eventually it goes beyond the visual line of sight because that's the objective. So, you know, you want a reliable network that is going to allow these, you know, objects, the drones themselves to complete the task at hand. So these are some important details. This is all very, very important information, especially not only as we transition from 4G to 5G, but also as we transition from no drones to a ton of drones doing everything that we are expecting them to do. So you want a very good network, and that's why I think that this is very, very significant. So tomorrow's standalone 5G network, in that it doesn't rely on any elements of legacy 4G networks, will be more important in drone applications because it will avoid the risk of handoffs in flight to slower, higher latency 4G towers. And you definitely don't want that. You don't want to lose connection. You want to maintain that connection because, obviously, you want the drone to complete its task. Once the infrastructure is in place, service types like URLLC will be able to dependently support drones and similar LOT devices and autonomous vehicles. So that's extremely, extremely important. You know, this is going to be a standalone service. You can expect to basically carry on and have those drones complete the task without doing major handoffs like it sounds like 4G networks are doing. On a similar note, 5G networking slicing will play an important role in integrating drone fleets into everyday applications. Drones can utilize a dedicated virtualized network slice, the equivalent of private network, within a larger 5G network, giving them a clear open channel for high-speed communications even in a dense urban environment. As Saw points out, in order to facilitate the necessary communication of drones so they can safely fly above and around the consumers, they will need a robust, ambiguous, unambiguous, network connectivity so those are, are very 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 important details right there i mean that's amazing to hear that they can basically have their own um that that's key i think all this is very unique too because as the drones are working to get basically into the market i mean you got to think they're going against the faa not necessarily going against but they're working with hand in hand with the faa so that 
this is approved and we understand that the drones are going to be doing what they're doing and that's also goes what i mean by hand in hand is that the 5g network is also working to make sure that it's the best of quality it's going to be all the hype everything we believe it is and those two are going to be dependent upon each other so it's important to understand that the 5g network is still you know getting to where it needs to get to just like the drones are so continuing on well commercial use of drones is currently limited the arrival of 5G is likely to kick off of an era, accelerated development for autonomous devices of all kinds. It will take time to build the infrastructure that fully supports integration of drone technology into the economy, though a number of important trials are already happening around the key use cases such as package delivery, safety inspections, mapping, and agriculture. We've talked about all that. Again, very significant that they hit on package delivery. They talk about safety inspections, mapping, in agriculture I find that again very distinct because like I said they have a partnership with Valkyrie who also has a partnership with Ag Eagle who does agriculture also does manufacturing also does assembly and so I think yet again those are some very key points package delivery via drone has been in the testing since 2013 and one major retailer was given this or er, one major retailer was this year given FAA approval for BVLOS beyond the visual line of sight operations of its drone fleet. It will likely be the least several years before such deliveries are possible at scale, but if 5G networks are built out, these services will follow. Like other robotic platforms, drones excel at jobs that are too dirty, dangerous, difficult for a dull human beings, including extreme applications such as power line and telecommunications equipment inspections. Volcanic activity monitoring, search and rescue, deliveries to remote areas, coupled with AI and advanced sensor technologies, drones have been deployed as part of response to COVID-19. UPS and drone company Matternet were approved for a prescription delivery via drone in April, while robotics company Dragonfly piloted a pandemic drone in Connecticut carrying a sensor package designed to monitor crowds for biometric data and compliance with social distancing measures. Unman Life, which was the 2020 T-Mobile Accelerator member, partnered with the UK government on a COVID-19 disinfection efforts, and it looks like harnessing 5G and AI. Its swarm of drones fitted the UGVI lights and will be deployed to disinfect public spaces. In addition, it will deploy autonomous UAVs within the Oxford region to deliver medical supplies for pharmacies to patients to home fighting COVID-19. Now, I think all this is very important to understand because what it's doing is this network is also starting to support all these drones. Um, and obviously, like I said, you know, and I'm going to keep emphasizing it. They have a partnership with Valkyrie. The 5G network has been, you know, implemented into Valkyrie's um, box. And then they also have a partnership with Ag Eagle who will be manufacturing those boxes. I think that's all very important to keep in the back of your mind as we continue to read through this article. This is going to be the last major piece of information I provide, but I think it's very ironic as I break it down. You guys know I did an interview with CEO and co-founder of Zing, Ian and Ace, and he really kind of broke down in some of this information that, he, that we talk about right here was discussed in that interview, which I will post right here. So what we're going to do is break this down, and then as we go through, I'll talk about the comparison, really. So, Saw said by the end of 2020, the FAA will come out with its rules for drone ID. And that's a piece that, you know, Ian really kind of talked about being a significant piece coming out in 2021. And he continued to say over here, in operations over people, drone ID could take up to three years to be fully implemented. But it sounded like to me that it's really going to be a huge unveiling and really kind of be a big deal coming out in 2021. Obviously, it could take three years to be fully implemented, but I think you might start to see some of that in 2021. What needs to follow are the comprehensive traffic management system and further process allowances for BVLOS, which again, I think is something that is also coming in 2021 with a product that NASA has been working on for a while. So I think all that is has been you know in the works and is supposed to be coming out here shortly. These items will likely take several years and that it will be potentially around the time the 5G ecosystem matures, such as it is broadly used for drones. Um, you know, obviously, I think for it to be fully integrated and fully working and functioning the way it should be, yes, it will take several years. 
But I do think that a lot of this stuff is going to start being unveiled and we're going to start to see it put to use here in 2021, which I think is going to be absolutely awesome. And why I think 5G is so important to these drones, because this thing is coming and it's coming quick. You know, obviously due to the pandemic, a lot of this has been pushed up and a lot of people are working, you know, long hours, working very diligently on, you know, getting this thing accomplished. So it's exciting to see it coming. And I think 5G, like I said, has a massive, massive piece in this drone push, most definitely. There is no question that I appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video. I mean, there truly, truly is a movement coming, and it's coming quick. And, you know, obviously that has been pushed ahead thanks to the likes of the pandemic. And I do think drones are going to have a major role in our future moving forward. Now, obviously, we want a major, major network that is going to support that, whether it is T-Mobile or maybe another one. That is going to be awesome to see because I do think 5G is going to be very important moving forward. I think one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to provide this article to you guys is because it was loaded with a lot of information on how the network works, but also how the network is going to support the likes of drones. But then I think what I always kept drawing from it was that they do have a partnership with Valkyrie. The, the 5G network has been implemented into Valkyrie's boxes, who is going to be manufactured by the likes of an Ag Eagle. And Ag Eagle obviously does a, a lot of manufacturing, is going to do a lot of assembly also has a massive, massive e-commerce sitting in their back pocket with a NDA in place. And so it would be kind of crazy to see all this come full circle, you know, as a massive unveiling. You have the 5G network that is provided by T-Mobile. You have the box that is being implemented and put to use by the likes of Valkyrie, who is being assembled by the likes of Ag Eagle, who then also has that major e-commerce that comes out and they're going to be using these drones to do everything that was talked about in this article. I'm pumped. I can't tell you how excited I am for this. I can't wait for all this information to come out. And I do want to remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor. And anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if I'm going to keep the content flowing, guys. I truly, truly am. I can't thank you enough. I appreciate it so much. We are making massive strides on this channel, and I really, I can't thank you guys enough. So the content is going to definitely keep flowing for sure. And as always, have a good day.